Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mode. Really good exponential equation today, and I'm going to show you two methods how can we how can we solve it. So we have 3 to the x plus 6 to the x all over 3 to the x equal to 3. And I'm going to show you a really good, real quick two methods how can we easily solve it. First of all, we need to know a really good property right here. For example, if we have 7 plus 4 over, for example, 3, we can easily write it as 7 third and plus 4 thirds. So this is the same as right here. But we find common denominator and we add it in our denominator. So let's use this rule but in the reverse way right here. So we can easily divide this by this and 6 to the power x by 3 to the x. So what we will have? 3 to the x over 3 to the x plus 6 to the x over 3 to the x equal to equal to 3. So as you can see we just use this rule, this property, this is not property, this is like a a really good trick right here. So if we divide this element by this, we will have the same denominator. Denominator will have 1 plus 6 to the x over 3 to the x equal to equal to 3. So what we're going to do next, bring this one on the right hand side and right here we will have 7 over 3 x and x equal to equal to 2. So right now we have same exponent, same powers and different bases, but we need to know a really good rule right here if we have this situation. So a over to the power x over b to the power x of same powers, which is good for us, we can easily write it as a over b all raised to the power x. So let's apply this rule right here. We will have 7 over 3 to the power x equal to 2, 7, 6 third it will be 2, 2 to the x equal to 2, and from here x equal to 1. This is our first method, our first real quick method. But we'll have a really good second method. So for example, let's multiply both sides by 3 to the x. So right here we will cancel with this one, and we'll have on the left hand side 3 to the x plus 6 to the x equal to 3 times 3 to the x. So let's bring all of these elements on the left hand side. So 3 to the x plus 6 to the x and minus 3 times 3 to the x equal to 0. Right now as you can see we have 3 to the x minus 3 times 3 to the x. So this looks like x minus 3x. If we subtract it we will have minus 2x, but x in our case is equal to 3 to the x. So we will have 6 to the x minus 2 times 3 to the x equal to equal to 0. How can we solve it? 6 to the x can be written as 2 times 3. So what we'll have? 2 to the x times 3 to the x minus 2 times 3 to the x equal to 0. 2 to the, or not, 3 to the x and 3 to the x is the common, so we can factor out it. We'll have 3 to the x in parentheses. We'll have 2 to the x minus 2 equal to 0. We can easily solve it. 3 to the x equal to 0. This has no any roots right here, so x is equal to negative number, so this case is not good for us. And this parenthesis 2 to the x minus 2 equal to 0, which is the same as right here. So 2 to the x equal to equal to 2. And x equal to x equal to 1. This is a little bit longer method, but as you can see right here, we'll find a really good, maybe complex root right here, but if you're talking about real number, this method is a little bit faster than this on the right hand side. So if you still have any question, write a question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.